it can't be a coincidence that we have two of the leading minds in social robotics on stage and you're both women. And I wanna sort of hear from you directly about what role you think diversity among scientists and inventors plays in making robots that will actually work with humans. Maybe Maya, you wanna take that first? Well, it's crucial, it's not a surprise, of course. We chose this um, and I will say that since I've been in this field, I've been getting many, many, many more women graduate students. Huh. Uh, what is sad is that still from the technology side of the world, what we do is seen as soft, where soft is not a good thing. Um, and I just say, well, it's half of humanity. If you want to sell products, you're forgetting half of humanity. So clearly, to do it right, you have to engage the developers, both genders, many ethnicities, everyone. Um, and we just find that this field does draw women. I don't think that's the softness of it. It's simply seeing what impact it can have in the world. And that's a general statement about engineering. Fields of engineering that are able to visibly show what the impact to the world will be engage women readily. Like biomedical engineering, lots of women. Civil engineering, not so much. And it's a matter of articulating a vision. And I would just say that, you know, the process of innovation is a very personally experience driven pursuit. You do mm -hmm. things of deep significance to you when you innovate. Mm -hmm. And it's so critical that the innovators in our country come from a, a whole diversity of backgrounds and sensibilities and experiences because they're going to gravitate towards different kinds of problems and need states than other people. And so if we want to create AIs and technologies that truly benefit everyone and not just a few, then that's absolutely critical.